there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, y'all. LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. All right, guys. I've been getting a flood of messages. I mean, you know, God almighty, man. Amanda Nunez pulls out of UFC 213. Are you serious? God! Guys, I've been trying to tell everybody this for months and months at a time, okay? Weight cuts. And I don't even think Amanda is doing this. I don't think she does. I think the weight cut. I think the weight cut. I think it was truly, honestly, this weight cut. Okay? Because y'all remember y'all saying, Coach, you crying, Amanda, enjoying her vacation. And you know, I was saying, you know what? It really seems like she's slacking off. Like, it really seems like she's cutting this very close. She looks very heavy. And even, you know, four weeks out before the fights, you know, in, she still looked heavy. And... I know for a fact, I, you know what, I guarantee you, she she drastically cut this weight to get down to 135, and she's saying she don't feel good. Now, you know, according to these articles, the doctor said that she's fine, and she's cleared to fight, but she says she, didn't, she don't want to fight, okay? So Amanda Nunes declined, you know, after the doctor said that she was fine, but then again, you could argue, okay, well, how the hell does somebody know how you feel if they're inside your body? I don't know. Or maybe Amanda Nunes probably felt like she wasn't going to be at 100%, okay? Maybe she thought she wouldn't be at 100%. Maybe she thought that, you know what, she was at a disadvantage, and maybe she just didn't want to go through with this fight because she probably thought that because of the disadvantage or the weight cut that she felt, she probably thought that, well, you know what, I'm not going in there, you know, have Valentina, you know, beat me and she, you know, fresh fighter. See, I'm, I'm sure all this is going through her mind, but see, I was telling y'all, I was telling y'all this earlier, Amanda Nunes having too much fun. She's having a lot of fun, and she's enjoying the fruits of her labor of being a champion, okay? She's enjoying a lot of that money, okay? She's enjoying a lot of that money she done made, and she's living pretty. And she put on a bunch of weight, and I was telling y'all and telling y'all that she, you know, isn't in shape right now. She's not in very good shape. She's not in good shape, and it looks like she's enjoying way too much of, of just... I, guys, I was saying this for months. But see, you know what? You know what? This is something that I completely wanted to be wrong about. Like, I didn't I didn't predict that she would pull out of this fight. But I did say that, you know what? It's taking her too long to get back in shape. Okay, this was like maybe three or four months before this fight was even going down. I was saying, man, Amanda looks like she's really, really, really not doing any kind of training. And I can say I guess I'm right. You know, I'm pissed off because... You know, we the fans been waiting and waiting, and now they're talking about they're going to reschedule the fight for September the 9th, which, you know, ah, man, I'm not trying to hit it. I'm not trying to hit it, okay? I mean, I'm not trying to hear that. And, you know, Amanda didn't look, you know, at weigh in, she looked like she was nice, calm, and cool, collective, man. See, th this is what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. Well, I I'm pissed off. I mean, I'm pissed off because this is the fight. The biggest fight in women's MMA history, and we don't get to see it. <sighs> ah! Well, guys, I mean, I guess everybody feel the same way, man. Everybody feel the same way. Okay? But then again, you know, I've been telling y'all about some of these bantamweights. I've been telling y'all about some of these bantamweights who shouldn't be in that division anyway. I've been telling y'all. But then now I find it kind of funny. And I start asking myself, now here's what I think on the low end. I'm thinking, you know what? Is Amanda pulling out of this fight because she thinks she can't win? Like, do she really think that she can win this fight? Like, what the heck? Is she just pulling out to buy more time? I mean, is she really doing that to buy time? And I start thinking about that. I start really thinking about it. You know what? Maybe. But I said, but I said, I said this girl don't look like she's taking this training seriously. You know, now the last couple of weeks I did, you know, I saw like Amanda really going hard. I mean, no, I'm sorry, the last like maybe 40 days, you know, I was like, yeah, Amanda, you know, she putting in a lot of work. She putting that work in. But, you know, I just, I guess to me it just seemed like, man, she, back when I kept saying something about it, you know, look, man. What is she doing? You know, she killing spiders with her grandma. She, 
you know, riding on horses. I mean, she over in Brazil. I mean, man. I mean, partying and dancing and eating it. And, you know, I'm just like, okay, what the hell? And now, okay. Here we go. So, guys, looks like we're going to have to wait till September the 9th till they go to Edmonton. And you had, uh, and, and you also had, uh, uh, Yoanny on Jacek was like, I'll take the fight right now. Just get me in. I'll take the fight. Joanna Young Jacek wanted this fight. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, Joanna Young Jacek's chances would be even less because, you know, she didn't have full training camp. And, and I knew that Dana White wasn't going to be able to pull this one off. I knew. But then again, I started thinking again. How many replacement people do they get for these fights? You see it all the time. How many replacement people do they get for these fights? You see it all the time. Then I started thinking, I wonder why Joanna Young Jacek could then, he, then Dana White said something about the Nevada State Athletic uh, Commission. He said that they wouldn't approve it too fast. But, you know, I've seen them do fast approvals in the past. But, y'all, this, this is a, a travesty for all the fans. For all of us fans, we were definitely waiting on this fight. Folks, <laughs> Amanda Nunes ain't going to be there. I don't even want to watch this entire card. I don't want to watch this card. I, you know what? The hell with the sport right now. I'm disgusted. Okay, I'm real disgusted. Now, we can say that, yeah, well, Amanda, you know, you know, we don't know what's going on inside our body. Okay, yep, but we wait till fight night. All this week, you know, she's been in Valentina Faze, uh, posing and, and cheesing and, and fronting and doing all kind of stuff in Valentina Faze and these face-offs. Now? Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Gotta stay in shape in between fights, Amanda. And that, my friend, is just the way it is. This is your boy, Coach. I'm done. Bye.